Hello everyone, let's go to Barnes & Noble, shall we? So this is my third trip to Barnes & Noble, just introing the vlog, I'm gonna head out. But before that, I'm gonna insert the two other times that I went to Barnes & Noble. I thought I would just compile all the footage. So here is day one of me going to Barnes & Noble, day two, and now let's head off again. This is my first time at Barnes & Noble. It's in the town over from me. I had an eye doctor appointment right next door, so I thought I'd pop in and browse for a bit. First I went to the magazine section, looked there because my dad was with me and he was like entertained by it. Saw a lot of Harry Styles magazines, wanted to buy them all, but I didn't. Then I saw there was a vinyl section. I love the vinyl section. So I saw some Christmas ones, Elvis Presley because I just watched the movie with my dad, the new one that came out. And I got to explore and I had my dad film this for me while I just looked at different vinyls. It was just so fun getting to see it in person. And then I was ooing and aahing about this one in particular and you'll see at the end if I got it or not. I'm telling my dad the story. Then we move on to books. This was so fun. I, I just loved this. So we went to the book talk table and I just... There were so many good books. I have a lot of them on here, surprisingly. I was thinking about getting this book in particular. I did end up getting it. I also did end up getting it. And then also, I might have got that one. It was just so fun to explore. So, yeah. I just looked around at books. It was a little bit awkward for me to be filming this. So I took a few pictures, looked around, and saw all the fun books that I could like put on my wish list and stuff like that so I did actually not get some of the ones that I wanted I waited and got them online instead but I did get this one in particular I came in for this one and I actually left with this one and I got to price match it also I saw another Harry Styles magazine so that was my first trip to Barnes & Noble that day and I only picked up one book now for the second trip to Barnes & Noble, I just picked up an online order, so that is the only reason I didn't really film much that day. I just went to the fantasy YA section and looked at some of the books there and picked up my order and I just went home. So quite a quick trip. Now we're on to the third and final visit, which is when I filmed the intro to this video walked in i actually had an order picked up instead of like buying the books because i got a discount deal for it so yeah i'm just going to show you like what books that i actually picked up in my pickup order i just looked to see what else was out there there was a lot of witchy books i also love my outfit from this day and i took a whole lot of pictures you'll see them on my bookstagram as well as the thumbnail of this video because i thought i looked cute and like it was the perfect going to a bookstore outfit so yes i'm just showing some books that i have on my wish list that i can remember to pick up for next time and i just love the aesthetic of these kind of videos where you're just browsing through the bookstore so I did my own version but I did look at books while I was doing this so yeah there was just some cute titles and I have so many that I want to buy I had to like resist not getting more because I already picked up six books that day so I stopped myself and I ordered the rest online to come for next month so that's fun and I am starting to look at all the Christmas books all of these books right here I also saw a lot that are from like book talk and like the fantasy section yes yeah, speaking of book talk I knew I would get to that table soon so yeah there's quite a few mystery and thrillers since it's October I thought I'll check that side out and just look through the different ones. I have Then She Was Gone. I need to read it pretty soon. It's on my TBR. Then we have this series. I had to pick up Love and Luck after I read Love and Gelato. Then we have Cackle, A Thorn of... whatever that book was called. Um, I want to get that. I also want to get this after hearing good things about it. 
So there's quite a few books that I need to like get. So maybe I'll get them next month. But yeah, I have a pretty large Barnes & Noble. It's in the next town for me. And I just went there after I picked up my eyeglasses. So my first visit was when I got my doctor appointment. And then this is when I picked up my glasses. So that is it. We are done. Me and my dad headed for the elevator. Hmm? <laughs> Scary elevator. Hmm? I don't like the elevator. You never know. If you film in an elevator, something might happen. I remember I vlogged one time and me and Jelly got stuck in it and we got it on a recording. On video? Yeah, we were laughing like crazy. So I tend to record in elevators. Let me get out of here. I want a flat boat book. Where's all the uh, Greece, not the Rome books? CSI. Dog, dog word search. Miss Carol. So it is the haul time and it's actually a week later since I filmed my third trip to Barnes & Noble. So you just watched me shop around. It was so fun. I really enjoyed it. And now I get to show you everything that I got from vinyls and books. So I'm going to start off with my two vinyl purchases. So I got two of them. So one I got in the mail just recently and then I got this one in store. I was ooing and aahing and my dad convinced me to get it. So I got two vinyls from there. I have a new store now to go vinyl shopping in and that's gonna be dangerous because I am adding these two to my ever-growing vinyl collection as well as my ever-growing book collection too. So we have the two vinyls. I'm just gonna talk about this one first because it has like a little story time to it. So this came around this came out around the time I was a freshman in high school, so I only went to one year of high school. I, it was a new town before I like, moved to the Philippines, so it was like my only high school experience that I had. And I was new, and I was looking for friends, and what way to gain friends is to overhear conversations from the cool girls and see what they're into, and they were talking about this album, and I decided to go home and listen to it so I can like befriend these cool girls. So I went home and illegally downloaded this album. My dad was at the in the Philippines at the time. My mom had no idea how to use the computer. I didn't have much internet access or computer access back in those days. So since my dad was away, I snuck onto his computer, illegally downloaded this. I do not know how I did that, but I did. And they told me to listen to Crush Crush Crush. That was like the main big song and I decided to. And I did not like it. And I was like, what is the hype about this? But I kept listening to it. I have no idea if they uploaded like the music video to that song on YouTube. I don't know. But I just listened to this album and listened to it. So just in case the cool girls would ask me, oh, what are you listening to? I would say, oh, I love that new Paramore song. Yeah, even though I was a big high school musical nerd, loved it. I was one of those high school kids who loved high school musical. Radio Disney was popping off back in those days. I was that kind of girl who listened to like Miley Cyrus, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, the Jonas Brothers. It was that era, which is very iconic now. But back then, it was kind of embarrassing if you still listen to that in high school. So I listened to this, didn't get the hype. I love this album now, maybe because of me brainwashing myself to love it, but Crush 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 is still my favorite song by them because of that fact, and I love singing along to it. I can't wait to listen to it on here. Misery Business, all those fun songs. I'm not a huge massive fan. I don't think I'm going to collect their whole entire discography on vinyl. Who knows, maybe, but... I just thought that was so cool and I got to bond over it with my cousin too because he knew I listened to like those Disney Channel songs and he's like, how do you know Paramore? And I had to tell him the story that I just told you and it was just so fun, so nostalgic. I love Paramore now and after I bought this, they announced their new album, which I'm going to check out because 
why not? Because of those cool girls in school, which in the end, I did not become friends with them because I moved to the Philippines after my freshman year. So I did all that research for nothing, but I still love a few of the songs on here. I had to get it. So that was my fun little like story time about this album, how nostalgic it was for me. And it was only like $23.99. It's on like a limited edition silver vinyl. So I can't wait to open it and play it. And of course, the first song I'm going to listen to is Crush, 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 because it's one of my favorite songs now because of all that happened. So I got that. I really enjoyed telling you that story and please let me know I'm not the only one who did something crazy like that to befriend cool girls in school. That was a really long story time but I'll keep this one short. So this is the second vinyl that I picked up. It is in the shape of a pumpkin so I got this in the mail. You can see me unbox it over on my TikTok. I filmed a little behind the scenes here but I do all of my vinyl unboxings over on my TikTok account but I'm just gonna show it to you open now. I just bought this vinyl because it is in the shape of a pumpkin. I am pumpkin obsessed, pumpkin pajamas, pumpkins everywhere in this room. I love pumpkins. I always have and having an option to have a pumpkin vinyl really did something to me. So this is the soundtrack to the It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and it's just all the music on like that plays in the movie, the instrumental kind of thing. I did not know that when I bought it. I just bought it because look at it. Look at the shape. It's a pumpkin. Like literally. It's an orange pumpkin. Like that is so cool. So I already played the music and <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. It's just really fun and it was a bit pricey but I don't regret it. I love it and yeah it's going to be great background music while I decorate my room in the fall spirit. So got that vinyl as well and I'm really happy with my vinyl purchases. Now I have all the books beside me and some of them are quite heavy and then we have a massive stack and then I also just got in a package as well. I had to order a book with the vinyl to get free shipping and I decided you know what I why not get two books and it was buy one 50% off so bought two books with that vinyl first is this one this is the first book that I got during my first Barnes and Noble trip I went in for this book I went out with this book so this is the dead romantics by Ashley Poston actually I just started reading this and so far I really like it I'm two chapters in definitely going to continue reading it though after I finish filming this video this is about Florence Day she is a ghostwriter for a famous author and then she gets a new editor and that editor is like a little bit mysterious and like it he sounds amazing and it kind of reminds me a little bit of book lovers so if i love book lovers by emily henry so much i know i'm gonna like this so yeah i can't wait to dive in and like see what this book is about especially since it's october and like this is like a, not a spooky read but it sounds like it's perfect for this time of year so can't wait to read this. Next up we have three books from my second trip. So I didn't really film too much of that because I just had to pick up an order and I needed to buy a book. And also a TikTok filter told me I should go buy this book and add it to my fall TBR. And I listened to the TikTok filter and I picked up Witch Please by Anne Aguirre, I believe. And this is a series, unfortunately. So yeah. I decided okay I have to like pick up the series so I bought the next book of Amazon I was gonna buy the next two because it had like a three book series but it hadn't come out yet it sounds like really fun Danica Waterhouse is a modern day witch and it's just like a witchy witchy rom-com that's hard to say but yeah just the cover looked good and I really hope that that TikTok filter did me good so went in to pick that up and then pick up my order which were these two books the ballad of never after and 
Once Upon a Broken Heart. They are the exclusive Barnes & Noble pretty editions or B&M exclusive it said on the cover. But I think this is book one and book two. And I bought the Caraval series on Amazon as well. So that's coming in the mail because I need to read those first. The only reason I went to buy these because look at how pretty. I mean, can you see how gorgeous like, that is? And like if you take the dust jacket off, it is so pretty as well. So this one is purple. And then this one is actually signed. So we have the receipt. Put that down. This is signed. I've never had a signed book before. Can you see that? Amazing. So yeah, I can't wait to dive in into that world. These are like the only two hardbound books that I own. I don't really like favor having hardbound in my collection. Everything is mostly paperback. But for these two, I made an exception because they're just... They're stunning and I'm so glad that I bought them. So got those two and we have everything that I bought on my third trip to Barnes and Noble. And this one I kind of went a little wild for. This will, a lot of them were buy one, get one half off. So that was justifiable. First off, I'm going to talk about this one. This is what I went into Barnes and Noble for. Book talk convinced me again. Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. Heard so many good things about this and I love vampire books. <laughs> um, vampires were the reason I started reading like Twilight, all those back then. So I'm like, yeah, I should. This is just an adult version of that and I hear it's very spicy. This is very fun, I hear. And it has like very like fun drawings and yeah, it's just so cool and i got the barnes and noble exclusive and i hear like she's a good author and i should read her like other series so it says it on the back if i like this one i'll pick up the other ones the next one is cackle by rachel harrison so i think this one's like another witch read <laughs> that is always so hard for me to say but yeah I don't know it just seemed interesting and I was going for a witch theme and for this time of year that's perfect next up we have the woods are always watching by Stephanie Perkins I just finished there's someone inside your house yesterday and that was a pretty good book I really wanted to check out her other ones you know me I love Anna and the French Kiss are like different these are like spooky mysterious thriller kind of ones hopefully i love this one so that's the next one that i got then i got extra witchy that was hard for me to say again by anna aguirre this is the third book in the series and i got the second one off of amazon i decided since i was in store anyways i would just pick up the third one it just got released when i went into store this book is love and luck by jenna evans welch and i read love and gelato loved it so much it was in my summer reading vlog and i said i was gonna pick up the next two i just picked up book two for now i'll read it and then i'll probably go and buy the third book of this series and then we have the last one here which is the no show by beth o'leary I was ooing and aahing about this one. I featured it in every single like day that I went and I was like, do I get it? Do I not? On the third try, I decided it's pretty. I hear good things. Go get it. So finally ended up picking it up. Those were the six books that I picked up on my last Barnes & Noble trip. And now we have this one right here, which I'm going to open up. But I'm going to film a TikTok. So again, you'll see like the behind the scenes version of this. And then I'll just show you the books that I got that's in here. These are the books that I went with. They are both vampire themed. So I got When Life Gives You Vampires by Gloria Duke. I thought this was like a fun premise. So she is plus size. I love plus size representation. And it does sound like she's going to struggle with body issues. I do as well. So having a character that I can relate to 
body-wise, not vampire-wise, <laughs> is going to be fun to read about. That was the first one. And then we have this one, which is My Blind Date is a Vampire by Daphne Bloom. I thought this was interesting. So it's one of those. I really love like a um, Disney Channel movie that had like the same premise of this like back in the day. Um, so yeah, I just thought, you know what? Why not? It's kind of small though. So I guess it's like a novella. But yeah, that's going to be a quick and easy read for me. So those are the last two books that I got from Barnes & Noble. I do hope you enjoyed shopping with me at Barnes & Noble. And if you like more bookstore vlogs, let me know because I would love to do more now that I have access to a Barnes & Noble. And that is super fun. I will link everything that I mentioned down below in the description. All of the books, all of the vinyls, and anything else. Also, my TikTok and Instagram are down there as well if you want to follow me because I post more book and vinyl content on those two platforms as well. And there you have it. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone! No one can do it like you! Ooh.